Hey there guys and welcome back to another Travel Stories video. My name's Dan, I create travel and adventure style vlogs and videos of my life as a long term budget traveler. But in today's video, I'm going to be telling a story from one of my travels, which was very recently, actually, it was a few weeks ago. And this is episode two of my Travel Stories videos. If you want to see the last one I made about um, going to Charco Frio in Puerto Rico, which is a waterfall in Puerto Rico and it was closed, you can click that up there and go watch that video. So about 15 minutes from where I live here in Minturn, Colorado, there is a bridge called the Red Cliff Bridge. And I drove over and by it many times this past summer when I lived here. And you know, I took a photograph of it, which I'll throw up here on the screen this summer. When I came back this winter, I really wanted to go there and photograph it in the snow. I told my friend Ralph about this bridge, and he's a photographer as well. We actually met here randomly a few weeks ago um, out on a hike, kind of like bumping each other and just started talking. And I told him about this bridge that I wanted to go shoot in, in the wintertime in the snow, and it was just like epic, and I just wanted to go there and just photograph it and film some stuff. So he was like, yeah, man, like I'm up for it. Let's uh, go. So he came over one day with his van, him and his girlfriend, and we drove out to Red Cliff. I'm here at the Red Cliff Bridge. I've been wanting to come here for so long in the wintertime to just take photos of this bridge. It's so beautiful. But I don't know, I got a few. I think it's it's pretty good. Definitely worth the trek out here. I came with some friends because I don't have a car, but it's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I don't know, the bridge was built in like, 1940, I think, and it's like the only bridge of this kind in Colorado, and it's really beautiful, but we're gonna head down below and maybe try and get some more, like, unique, different shots of it. We ended up copying in the van and driving down, you know, across the bridge and then down this road that goes underneath the bridge, heading towards the town of Red Cliff to get some more shots. Check it out. It looks so much different from below. That is so epic, but um, we are just, like, what, like, right there is where we were shooting from above and we drove across the bridge and then came down and around there's this road that goes underneath it it's just so epic like i love stuff like this it's like 200 feet tall i believe and i read online did a little bit of research today and i think they renovated it in like 2004 it was like 65 years after it was built they renovated it and it's check it out that is so cool now it was like really cold this evening and um you know, like my fingers like freezing off at this point and we were out there, but I did, I think I got a couple of cool photos and also we uh, ran into these people who had some really nice dogs. So we got to hang out with some cool dogs for a bit as well. <laughs> Made some dog friends. <laughs> it's really freezing outside. My hands are just like almost numb at this point, but dude, that bridge is so beautiful. So I got to come out and check it out. I've like buried myself in the snow trying to like shoot this bridge behind me because there's like power lines in the way and I don't want them in my shot. It's so pretty and the sun's setting now, so you're just nice, nice colors. After that, we ended up just kind of like cruising around a little bit out there because there's not much out there, but there's a lot of like back road, roads and um, just some really pretty views. So we kind of like drove down some random road and stopped at the end and uh, just looked at the mountains and you know, just had some fun. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, it's not as deep as I thought. It's not as dramatic as I expected. Yeah, same. It feels dramatic. <laughs> it feels. <laughs> in my pants. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Check out. I don't know what mountain range that is back there, but man, sunset. So pretty. Now to wrap up the night after sunset, we ended up driving back up to the top of the bridge where we started. We wanted to try and get some like long exposure shots after dark of like cars driving over the bridge. Now like I didn't get any that I thought were too amazing, but I did get a few shots. Back of the bridge, sun has kind of set now. It's a very warm 13 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna try to do some like long exposures once it gets a bit darker. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's kind of cloudy, so there's not like a ton of stars or anything, unfortunately, but I'm hoping that maybe we can get a few decent shots that night. And now, as I just mentioned in that last clip, it was absolutely like frigid this night. Like it was about 13 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe a little bit less by the time, by the time we left and I was just like, my fingers were completely frozen after being out there for like 20, 30 minutes, you know, trying to get some shots, like line up the traffic right and everything. And although I didn't get anything that was too amazing, it was still like, I think a fairly successful, you know, photography trip. And I mean, I had fun, so that's really what matters. I thought I'd make a little travel story video out of it. And this is like a little like series that I'm doing here on the channel where I, you know, 
tell some of my stories from, from my travels at any time. It doesn't have to be any specific time, just any time that I have a story that I want to tell and I want to make a video about it. So I created this series for that. If you guys like my content, want to see more travel adventure style vlogs, more travel stories, more budget travel tips, and me just sharing some of the lessons and things I've learned along my travels over the past year and a half, then subscribe below. Like and comment on the video if you have any questions, and I'll definitely get back to you. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.